So welcome back to the rehab portion of the course. I'm Paula Moore, the Posture Doctor, and we're going to start off with the familiar chin tuck. Any of you who've been following my courses know that I'm crazy about the chin tuck exercise, and we're going to use this exercise and ramp it up a little bit with some different versions. But first of all, we need to review the chin tuck. So we're going to work with Gloria, who has some forward head posture, to review what that means, simply that the ears are no longer in a line with the shoulders. The head is sitting out in front. This is one of the main problems with text neck, is that over time, because we're looking down to our mobile devices, gravity pulls our head forward and down. And long term, this can potentially straighten out the curve in the neck. And there's a whole host of other associated health issues with that. So to begin with, I think the neck needs to be loose. So I usually like people to just turn left and right several times. I've never shown Gloria this exercise, have I? No. Nope. <laughs> okay. So she's a newbie, which is exactly what I want, because I want it to be as if you're doing it at home. So to start off with Gloria, just simply turn the head right and left as far as it comfortably goes. And just back and forth. That's it. A few more times. Right, back to the middle. And now bringing the ear to the shoulder side to side. So what we're doing is warming up the neck before we try the chin tuck. This may be quite challenging for Gloria. I've yet to see how flexible her neck is, but this will be like a lot of you doing the course, so that's perfect. That's fine, okay. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be learning how to tuck the chin in. And the reason we do that is we want to bring the ears back over the shoulders. So first of all, Gloria, I want you to stick it out a bit like a chicken. So that makes the forward head posture, as you can see, worse. And now I want you to tuck it back in. Okay, so you did very well. Now what you'll notice Gloria also did was look down towards the floor a little bit. So this time I want you to do it, letting it jut out straight out in front. And I want you to keep it horizontal so the chin... That's it. And I'm, what I'm doing underneath is I'm guiding your head a little bit. And then back out like a chicken. And tucking it back in. And tucking in. And back out like a chicken. And back in. Now as you're coming back in, Gloria, I want you to think of a book resting on top of your head. And that not only are you bringing the chin in, you're not jamming it in, but what you're doing is actually lengthening through this region, as if you have a book on top of your head and you're pushing it towards the ceiling. So once again, as you're tucking in, think about lengthening through the neck. Tuck in and tucking in and long through the head. And if you're really doing this well, over time you may feel a little bit of pull as you do it back in here. Do you feel any of that yet? A little bit. A little bit? Okay, good. And then back out and tuck in. That's great. And you can relax again. Now what you should notice already, um, I should stop looking at the, uh, the picture of Gloria and my camera and look at you there. So what you can see now is the ears are not sitting quite as far out in front of the shoulders. You can imagine if you're doing this daily and doing 10 to 20 reps several times a day, that over time this will help to alleviate the text neck symptoms. So that was done very well indeed. Let's move on to the various text neck exercises. That's very hard to say three times in a row. 